Reflections on the Passion of Christ. Fifth Reflection, Christ Crucified. There's a beautiful verse in the book of Sirach, which St. Alphonsus quotes in reference to Christ. The line is this, forget not the kindness of your surety, for he has given his life for you. What is a surety? A surety is someone who takes upon himself the responsibility of paying another person's debt. That's basically what a redeemer does as well. A redeemer is someone who gains something back by means of a payment. Christ became our surety when he took it upon himself to pay the debt we owed for our sins. And he became our redeemer when he made that required payment to buy us back from divine justice and deliver us from the devil who by our sins had acquired a certain right over us. Forget not the kindness of your surety for he has given his life for you. Imagine if you are waiting in prison for someone to bail you out. Imagine even more if you were condemned to the death penalty and someone came to take your place. I think you would be more than grateful. Jesus did that for us. Jesus did that and more for us. Are we grateful to him? If a policeman or a fireman were to give his life to save mine, could I ever forget him? Wouldn't I keep a photo of him always to keep alive the memory of what that good man did for me? My heart would obligate me to do it. Do you have a picture of Jesus in your wallet? Do you have a crucifix on your wall at home? Forget not the kindness of your surety, for he has given his life for you. Whenever you look at a crucifix, you should say with deep thankfulness, Christ loved me and he gave himself up for me. Christ loved me and he gave himself up for me. Where would I be now if Christ hadn't died for me? Would I be here now sitting tranquilly in church, enjoying all the benefits of a life of grace and with the hopes of eternal happiness in heaven? Where would I be if Christ hadn't died for me? Still in my sins, in hell probably, or at least with no hope of going elsewhere. We adore you, O most holy Lord Jesus Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world.